Okay, here is a practice problem. Uh, I made this one up. So I have a block with a 1.2 kilogram mass. So let's just put that right there. M equals 1.2 kilograms. On a frictionless board that's inclined 25 degrees above the horizontal, and there's a string holding it up, and that's 30 degrees above the board. So the question is, what's the tension of the string? So let's draw a free body diagram. So I'm going to start with the dot right there for the for the block. Now, what forces are acting on it? There's actually only three. Three. Wait. Three. There. Uh, there's a long range force, the force, the gravitational interaction between the block and the earth. So I'll put that going right straight down like that. M G. Remember G equals zero negative nine point eight zero newtons per kilogram. Next I have the table pushes on the block. Now since it's a frictionless table it can only push perpendicular to the table so it can only push that way. So let me see if I can put this that's like that. I'm trying to be neat. And these may or may not be drawn to scale. So we I'm going to represent that with the with the symbol N for normal force. Uh, because it's perpendicular. Finally, the tension. So the tension is like this. And I'll call that T. So this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 25 degrees. So in, in this problem you could actually pick any coordinate system that you want. I could use this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis or I could use this is my x-axis axis, and that is my y and that's what I'm going to do. Normally on a plane like this you would want to pick the if it was accelerating if the block was sliding then I would want the acceleration in either the x or the y direction not both the x and the y that just makes it more complicated. So in preparation for that I'm going to pick this is my x-axis so that's going to be x and that's y. Since it's in equilibrium, I can write the following. F net equals N plus T plus MG equals zero. So if I add up all the forces, they have to add up to zero. Now, you can't, we don't write these as negatives, okay? They may have a negative component, but as a vector equation, we write it like that. Of course, it's easier to write this in two scalar equations, F net x equals zero and let's go ahead and write that out so what forces are in the x direction well this one has no x component this one has a component in the x direction right here and you'll notice if that's t this is t cosine theta so i'm going to it's in the positive x direction so i'm going to say plus t cosine theta oh i guess you should call that 30. Now this is the scalar magnitude of the tension. It does not have a vector symbol over it. This whole thing is a scalar equation. What else is in the x direction? Well, this angle, if you do a little geometry, you can see that this is a right triangle. So this is the complement of 25. And then this is a right triangle. So that's the complement of the complement. So that's also 25. So the x component of the weight is this right here part of the triangle. So that's going to be minus mg sine 25. Okay. Now, a couple of important points. It's minus right here because it's in the negative x direction. g is 9.8. It's the magnitude of this gravitational field. So don't put the negative sign in there twice. Uh, and that has to be equal to zero. Now, from that, can I solve for what I want? And I want is uh, the magnitude of the tension. Well, that's the only thing I don't know. So let's go ahead and solve for that. Let's add mg 20, sine 25 to both sides and I get t cosine 30 equals mg sine 25. Divide both sides by cosine of 30. Oh wait, that's the 25. Okay. So now I get, now I can put in my mass 1.29, I'm leaving off the units, 9.8 sine of 25 divided by cosine of 30. And let's see if my calculator is plugged in.
Oh, it is. Okay. So let's put this in. Uh, oops. One off. There it goes. Okay, so let's put in 1.2, enter, 9.8 times sine of 25, so I'm gonna say 25, enter, and then I'm gonna turn my trig button right here and say sine. And then I'm gonna multiply that times. And then I'm gonna do 30, enter, cosine, divided by. And I get 5.74 newtons. That's the tension right there. Uh, if you wanted to, you could also find this normal force right here. I'm going to write down the equation. I'm not going to solve for it though. So if I do the same thing in the uh, y direction, f net y, I have n. Then I have this part of the tension. So it's going to be t sine 30 as plus t sine 30. And then I have this part of the gravitational field, which is depends on the cosine, so it's going to be minus mg cosine 25 equals 0. So I already know t, so I could put in all my values and solve for n if you wanted to. Uh, notice that if you started with this and you did the y direction first, you'd say, well, I have two things I don't know. I don't know n and I don't know t, so you'd need two equations, two unknowns. It turns out the other equation only has t in it, so that's really nice. And that's actually one of the nice things about picking this as your x-axis. Okay, but there you go.